Hey boys and girls, Ms. Miner here. Sorry you missed my live lesson. Um, I have a little demonstration about what we were doing in the live lesson, so go ahead and watch that. And then when you're done, make sure you take a picture and upload it to Schoology. And I hope to see you in the live lesson next week, okay? All right, for today, you are going to need a piece of paper, a black crayon, a white crayon, uh, your watercolors, uh, a container for water. I'm just using old food container. You can use a yogurt container, a brush, some clean water. Uh, also, always remember to protect your surface. So I have a big piece of scrap paper here to protect my surface. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're gonna work on drawing scribble, but we are going to draw his eyes first. Okay, we're not gonna draw his body, we're just gonna draw his eyes. So that's two circles, and you put a little bit of black inside there. Excellent. Now, we want to draw a mouth. Okay, so I just used a little curved line. I do some curved lines on the edges. All right, we're gonna fill that in. And we wanna fill in and press really, really hard and make sure there's no white. We're making sure there's no white. be a little hard to see but in the white part of his eyes we're also gonna put some white crayon here because we're doing a what is called a watercolor resist and we want to keep the whites of his eyes white so I'm just gonna fill in with crayon there okay so I've got my eyes I've got my mouth all right next up we are going to start making Scribble's body. Now, you're not gonna be able to see it very easily, because remember in the book, he's invisible for a while. All right, so around the eyes and the mouth, you're gonna start scribbling. Wavy, curly, zigzag lines. You know, go up above the eyes. I know you're not gonna be able to see it, but that is okay. We are going to do a little magic trick with our watercolors. So I'm just moving that crayon, just doing a big scribble. You can make it really tall if you want. Okay, and you wanna press really quite hard with your white crayon. The harder you press, the easier it will be to see scribble when we are done. Okay. So now that I've got a good body, and you can kind of, you can almost see scribble a little bit. You wanna try and figure out where to put arms for scribble. And if it's not perfect, like, that's okay. Got my little hands there, so just two lines. And now the legs. I'm gonna do a straight vertical line down. And then his foot comes out. And I'm pressing really nice and hard with my black crayon. All right. So there's our start of our invisible scribble. So now we need our watercolor set. Now I know my set looks a little bit different than yours. But I'm gonna use this half. Now, to use the watercolors, you need to dip your brush in the water. Okay, 
Then you're gonna bring it over to your watercolor palette and you're just gonna kind of brush gently in there to get that watercolor started. You can pick any color you want. All right, now we're gonna bring that watercolor paint over here. So we dipped our brush in the water, then the paint. Now we're bringing it to the paper. And you can brush right over top of Scribble and check out what happens. You can see our friend Scribble. Okay, so I ran out of paint, so I'm not even gonna water, paint, paper. And I can see our friend Scribble. Isn't that a cool trick? And if you filled in the eyes, you can go right over top. Okay, more paint. Water, paint, paper. And you want to fill your paper up with color. Okay, make sure you're not digging in there. It's watercolor for a reason. There should be more water than paint on your paintbrush there. I'm just gonna fill in, keep filling in. I have a lot of paint over there, so I'm gonna just grab some. Filling in, and I can see my friend no longer invisible scribble. Okay, there he is. You can see invisible scribble now.